So I'm John Howey, I'm Chief Corporate Affairs Officer for Babcock. Uh, Babcock's a global aerospace defence and security company. Uh, we operate in predominantly in the naval market, but we also have sectors in land defence, in military aviation, commercial aviation, civil nuclear. So quite a broad-based business. Our, our essence, if you like, is in complex asset support, but we're also increasingly these days moving into platform build and integration through programmes like the Royal Navy Type 31 frigate. So, so Type 31 is a, is a departure for UK naval platform acquisition. It's designed against a, a budget of £250 million per ship, which is, which is actually not a lot of money for a complex um, frontline platform. It's a large ship, it's 5,700 tonnes, uh, it has lots of space in it to allow the customer to reconfigure it for different missions. And it's, it's not a frontline complex warship, it's essentially for sort of constabulary roles, um, anti-piracy, so it will be part of the backbone of the, of the Royal Navy for the future. The thing that makes it revolutionary is it's been provided for a price that ordinarily you would get a much smaller ship for and it's been built in an innovative way that means the first all five ships will be delivered to the Royal Navy by 2028. I think a combination of the, of the sticker price for Type 31 and the fact that it carries that Royal Navy seal of approval has generated a huge amount of export interest. So we've got active campaigns at the moment running in Indonesia, in Poland, in Greece, uh, and we're seeing other customers expressing interest for future programmes, countries like New Zealand and others. So there's, there's been a huge amount of interest. I think because of that combination of it being a really affordable, flexible platform, but crucially, the, the Royal Navy still have a world-class reputation and the fact that they've selected that to be part of the backbone of the future Navy has, has captured a lot of interest. I, I think this, this is a really, a really exciting time in defence at the moment because technology is turning into being a, a great enabler for armed forces. Uh, so one of the great examples, just to answer your question for us, is uh, I'll take the example of the naval guns that are fitted to the Royal Navy frigate fleet, but also things like uh, armoured vehicles. Uh, we're building um, really accurate digital twin models that allow us to manage the configuration of an asset that's being used 10,000 miles away so that between us and the customer we can do things like modelling fault modes so we can trial in a digital environment the fault they saw on the battlefield and be able to tell them how they can go about rectifying that. So digital twins are a really great example, complex asset management, so being able to do predictive analysis um, of assets so that we can get a better handle on when they might fail so that the armed forces get better availability for a lower cost.